You were elected to the House in 2014, re-elected in 2016. That means right. up for re-election again Absolutely. this next uh, this next year. <clears throat> Fifth Congressional uh, District Challenger Kendra Horn, mm -hmm. Horn, Kendra Horn uh, issued a following statement. I'll read it to you. Um, she says, quote, in pure Washington fashion, Steve Russell, Republicans in Congress just rammed through a scam that forces Oklahoma's families to pay even more for the things they need just so Republicans can give tax breaks to corporations and their wealthy donors. Your response to that? It's the same tired arguments that we see, you know, where they try to divide us at every turn. Uh, we have uh, some uh, on the other side of the aisle, not all, but some, uh, they want to divide us on uh, on wealth, they want to divide us on class, they want to divide us on gender, they want to divide us on race. You know, the America that I served uh, said out of many, one, not out of one, many. Uh, we need to focus on the things that unite us. And these tired old arguments that, oh my gosh, you know, Jupiter's going to collide with Mars, whales are going to disappear from the ocean if we pass this tax reform, uh, those are tired arguments. But every American knows, Dave, on April 15th how broken our tax code is. You don't gotta. You don't gotta give them some sound bite or some political rhetoric. They know how stupid our tax code is. Uh, you know, twenty thousand pages. You're trying to navigate it. You're, you know, you're trying to figure it out. How about something simple? How about a few tax brackets, uh, personal exemptions that allow you to not even have to itemize all of that stuff. You still get to have your home mortgage deduction and your charitable giving deduction, and you get a refund. Okay, what's wrong with that picture? I suppose people could argue, hey, there's 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 certain exemptions that I no longer see that I used yeah, to be able to the, claim. The, you know, and I kind of liken it to, okay, so you're going to buy a pizza, right? And you have a five dollar coupon. Well, I love some pizza. And I'm like, hey, Dave, I, look, I, I got a ten dollar coupon. Let me give you that ten dollar coupon. You can save five extra bucks, and you go great. You know, but then. But then you go to buy the pizza and, and uh, you want to use both coupons. And they're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's just only one coupon. And then you're mad because you can't use your $5 coupon when the reality is you got a $10 coupon now. You, you're getting more off. And, and this is the arguments that we see. It's like, hey, you're, you're taking away this deduction now. And it's like, okay, yes, we, you're no longer going to need to itemize that stuff because uh, in, instead of only $5 worth of stuff, uh, you're going to have $10 off. And, and we have to look at it in simplified ways like that. That's what the doubling of the personal exemptions do. For example, if I have a, a, a 24,000 uh, know, joint uh, deduction now, but I have itemizations where before I had $12,000 joint deduction and $5,000 worth of deductions, I'm only at what? 17,000 and I'm complaining because now I'm going to get 24,000 deduction. You got to focus on what the, the bottom line is, not what the eaches are. We want to simplify the tax code. If we keep every single one of these pet rocks in there, we're never going to reform it. And here's the big thing that we're missing. We got three and a half trillion dollars of investment and, and money that is offshore. Companies that move their uh, wealth to other countries because they, they don't want to pay the taxes on it here. We're going to allow them to bring that back. Now think about it. If they bring it back, what are they going to do? They're going to invest in equipment. They're going to uh, have employee benefits or have better retirement plans for their employees. They're going to hire more people. They're going to, uh, I met with the Germans uh, this uh, last week. We're looking at bringing a German delegation here to, uh, to Oklahoma. They're our fourth largest trading partner. We'd like to bump that up a little. Why not let them manufacture stuff and invest in Oklahoma? Well, now you'll have companies here in the United States that can do that if they know that, hey, we're only going to be hit at a 20% corporate tax rate, not 35, not 40. They're going to build here, and now you've got hundreds of jobs in Oklahoma. Uh, they've estimated uh, that the, you know, Oklahoma will see tens of thousands of extra jobs uh, just in the state by this tax reform.